Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Hernandez and today I wanted to talk to you because it's our last week of art during our distant learning. So I actually wanted to do our assignments a little bit differently for this week. For this week, I'm going to be presenting three different assignments and you get to choose which one you wanna work on. You do not have to use or do all of those projects. Please just choose one. And what you're going to do is you can use any materials you have, anything that you like, and really give it your own spin. Use your favorite clothes or materials or toys or paints. Use whatever that makes you really happy. Let's get started. Option number one. This activity is called My Favorite Things. So basically, you're gonna go around the house and search for your favorite toys, your favorite activities, your favorite games, your favorite clothes, your favorite foods, anything that you really love. This project is inspired by an artist named Jason Travis. He likes to photograph new people that he meets. What he does is first takes a picture of them then he asks them to collect objects that they really love and best represent them. Then they organize it neatly on a flat surface like a table or a floor and they make sure that their objects are neatly separated so that way the viewer, that's us, when we see the photograph we're able to see the objects clearly. Sometimes it isn't always clear to whom the objects belong to. When you take your photograph, you can neatly arrange your objects on the floor by themselves, or you can arrange them around you and ask someone else to take a photo of you and your objects. When picking some of your favorite things, you might want to pick your favorite clothes, your favorite toy technology, your favorite book, favorite snack, favorite drink. There's a lot of things that you could choose from. When you're taking your picture, it's best to take the photo from above so we could see all the objects clearly. And if you wanna be in the picture, remember to ask for help. Option number two, drawing with objects. Some materials you might need for this project is a pencil and some small little items like board game pieces or food. This project is inspired by an artist named Roger Schoenert. And what he does is he collects old objects he looks at their shape, and it usually reminds him of an animal, a person, or a different object. And what he does is uses a marker to add more details in order to complete the picture. Other artists have used the same techniques, but sometimes they use snacks like pretzels, cereals, chips. Some other artists have even used pencil shavings, things that we throw away but they found a new way to use them and create it as a part of their artwork. For my first drawing, I found two rolls of washi tape, and since they're circular, I drew a third circle and started to create a snowman. I added the face, the hat, the buttons, and then I started to add the background details to finish off my picture. I wanted to try this project again, so this time I'm using an eraser. And looking at its shape, it's a rectangle. It reminded me of a spaceship. So I started to add all the details. Then I added the moon, the sun, and the stars. And just to make it more fun, I added a little Martian spaceship zooming through the galaxy. And the third and final option is to create a pillow fort, or some people call it a blanket fort. Some materials you might need, some blankets, pillows, chairs, and maybe something heavy, like heavy books, to help the blanket stay still. Did you know that in 2018, Warwick University students worked together to create one of the largest blanket forts? Working together, they were able to collect about 12,900 blankets and they donated it all to the homeless. If you're doing this project, I am not expecting you to make the largest pillow fort or blanket fort in the world. We are using larger materials, so it is going to be considered a large sculpture. Creating a blanket fort can be very beneficial 
Sometimes we feel like we need a new space to feel comfortable and relaxed and a blanket fort can do just the trick. With the help of an adult or an older sibling, you're going to be using about four chairs and put them on the sides. Place pillows and blankets on the floor. Grab a different blanket and put it on top of the chairs. And if you have something heavy like books, put them on top of the blanket so it doesn't move. When I created mine, I wanted to add a little something extra. So I got some little star lights or Christmas lights and I connected it and added it underneath. I also added my iPad so I had something to watch. Let's review our options. Option number one, my favorite things. You can collect all of your favorite things, arrange them on the ground neatly, and snap a picture. You do not have to be in the photo if you don't want to, but it's more fun if you are in it. Option number two, drawing with objects. Find some small objects, place them on a piece of paper, look at its shape. What does it remind you of? Then using the marker, please add the rest of the details to finish the picture. Option number three, build a pillow fort. Now with this project, you're probably gonna need some blankets, pillows, and some chairs. Remember my friends, you get to choose which project you wanna work on. You do not have to do all three projects, unless you want to. And if you do that, please let me know. I would love to see what you guys come up with. I have had so much fun working with you guys this year. I am so proud of all of the hard work that you guys put into our art this year. And, you know, I hope that you guys have a great summer. Remember to have fun and get creative. Bye.